Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Recently, I was at the Dallas RV Super Sale, and over there I saw something I've never seen before. I've always seen videos of it. I've always seen photographs of it. The Oliver Legacy Series. To the right is a smaller version. To the left is the one I'm going to be uh, checking out. That's the Oliver Legacy Elite Numero Dos. This one's just the regular Oliver Legacy Elite. Both are elite. <laughs> what makes the Oliver Legacy Elite uh, too is uh, primarily in the past that you had to go all the way to Tennessee, order one, and maybe in a year and a half or so, you can get one uh, and you can pick it up. Now they're being offered at dealerships, and if they have one in inventory, you can just pick it up immediately. Wow! Uh, what makes the uh, Oliver Legacy Elite Numero Dos uh, impressive is a super, super high quality fiberglass body. And also a lot of the interior components are also made of fiberglass, uh, different you know types of fiberglass. It has an aluminum chassis, not a steel chassis, should never rust, and premium accessories and materials. Very nice. This unit is being made available at United RV here in Fort Worth, uh, Haltham City actually, and I look forward to going down there and maybe checking it out again and seeing uh, some of the features. There's the bumper area where they have a bit of storage and of course uh, the spare tire and a little hitch. This is like a sheeting material, a foam sheeting material, and there's a pass-through storage. There's a window and some folks inside. I had to wait for the, most of these folks to leave so I can do my modest little video. They have some batteries in here. Of course, as you very well know on this channel, the price of lithium batteries has dropped precipitously, just dropped. So, and this is just fiberglass right there. Excellent tires and uh, excellent hardware. And this is a 30 amp unit. Look at that, that's actual steel, metal, not plastic. And another window, and uh, you get a little light there. This is the window for the bathroom. Of course, it's frosty, so people can't check you out. And, you know, the oglers wanted to see you uh, taking a shower. You don't want that. Storage in the front and a special hitch. I think they're called a bulldog hitch. Uh, again, you would have to ask the folks at United RV here in uh, Haltham City, Fort Worth, Texas. They'll be more than happy to help you. They're very nice and professional. There's the uh, power tongue jack, and it has a bubble level. This is where you can access and look at the propane tanks and go, hey, how are you doing propane tanks? You're doing very nicely, aren't you? Of course, they have uh, areas on the side that you can open up and handles. Stainless steel handles, not plastic handles. There's the logo, and of course you can have it in different colors if you want to order one, but if you want to get one off the uh, showroom here in uh, Haltham City, you're going to have to say, I like the blue one. <laughs> Little table on the outside. Folks are coming in and out of this unit because it's an amazing, amazing high quality product with, again, you can see the flooring and also the fiberglass uh, construction in the interior. It has a standard uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, a window, an area for your towel, uh, some of your storage right there. Very nice. It has this little rubber plastic mat right there with ribbing throughout the unit. And these translucent windows, I loved it. I loved it a lot. Again, this is a super, super premium product, super well built. Uh, this is a product you can hand down to your children, grandchildren, and if you actually like your children and grandchildren, you can, or just can sell it, it's up to you. Pull out faucet, stainless steel sink, they already hang odds and ends, it has a little uh, plug for the uh, you know sink, and there's a mirror. There it is, right there. Again, I would like to thank the folks at the Dallas RV Super Sale for letting me check out the uh, show. They let me in free. Wow. 
That's uh, some sort of like rug-like material that sort of you can put under the bed, I think, from what I understand. And it, so you won't get mold and mildew or anything crazy because it gives you a little bit of airspace. You can put uh, clothing in there. You can put whatever you want in there. Another hanging area, speakers, etc. And there's, and for us dummies like me, hey, there's the exit. That's the door f that you can leave and exit. Again, there are plenty of folks here, people with more money than I do, <laughs> that can afford all of our legacy. Elite number two, and here's some of the controls for the closet lights, main lights, etc. A nice chrome handle very nice and there's a salesman out there ready to greet folks and say hey we'll be more than happy to sell you one or two it's all a matter what your budget is smallish uh, refrigerator good for about ooh, three four five days a week but then again you can f eat a lot of canned products <laughs> little freezer Little shelf for the vegetables or whatever you want to put in there, deli items. It's an Indel B. Convection microwave oven, perfect, absolutely flawless for this unit. And uh, of course, uh, if you went to Tennessee, they'd give you, hey, well, they'd show you the different swatches. Would you like this? So color seed, would you like this color, that, would you, would you like the countertops to be a certain color, etc., etc. But if you go to the lot, you're going to say, would you like it in this color, because we only have two, <laughs> or the other color. Again, I like those translucent uh, storage areas. Very, very, very nice, very classy. My wife and I would absolutely love this unit. Day-night shades, you have the option, half and half. You know, whatever you want. Uh, let me open this up. It has these twisty handles. Again, you see those uh, rubber plasticky mats. Lights, of course. I had to get used to how to close it. There we go. It took me about two, three f tries for this old fart. Some lights there. So if you're reading a book, having dinner, you want to actually see your food. Yeah, and again, that's that fiberglass material. It's not a, you know, uh, you know, quartz or granite or anything. It's, it's actually fiberglass, just a colored fiberglass. Drawers are high quality. Of course, what do you expect? Dovetail joinery. Oh, my God. Very nice. That's a smaller drawer. And the drawers below it are a little bit bigger, longer. Super, super. Some of the best cabinets. In fact, the best cabinets I've seen on any travel trailer on the market. So, again, a superior product. Let me move these brochures and show you the sink. A good size sink, not a great size sink, a good size sink. A faucet with a, you know, push out sprayer. Again, it's available at United RV, just down the street from my house. I've always gone down there to check out. They have a great little store, the best store for RV uh, products. If you need a, you know, some, uh, some odds and ends for your RV, heaters, you know, you know, screens, chemicals. They have it all down there. And they have a great service department. A friend of mine, Mikey, used to work down there, and he always told me they had the best service department in all of northern Texas. Let me see if I do this right. Twist and open. Again, this goes all the way across, all the way across from the right, a little extra area there, all the way to the left. So you're gonna put some significant items in there. Let me see if I can close it right this time. And there's the hinges. Let me see if I do it right in one. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Very good. You can teach an old dog new tricks. There's the television, and there's the twin beds that convert, apparently, hopefully, into uh, a single bed, because I would... Pre, I would purchase the one with just the bed. I wouldn't buy this one myself because my wife and I like to, uh, you know, sleep close to each other and, uh, you know, hug in the middle of the night. Just call me old-fashioned, okay? So this is separate beds, twin beds. And there's some of the controls for the Truma, for the sea level system, for the tank levels and the inverter controls. 
You have several levels that you can put stuff in. Screwed in. Let me see if I can do this. Hey, I'm getting better at this again. So there's the flooring. I have three drawers on the left. You have a drawer down here. And more storage. You can always use more storage on a, you know, modestly sized uh, travel trailer. Storage over here. This is not storage, it says, Jesus dummy. But that one might be storage. But this one on the right, no storage. The uh, one on the left, C storage. This one's both of these sides. Uh, no storage, senor. Actually, it's screwed down so you can't access it. Only for service. Let me sit down. There's a spot for the TV and it folds up and has a lot of access. And there's the audio system by the folks at Furion. And uh, the Victron uh, controller. You have lights over here. And you have lights above each side of the bed, so in case you uh, want to read a book, have some knitting, want to eat a snack while watching TV, you can do that. Not much flooring to uh, take care of, huh? <laughs> I'm going to get out of this vehicle. There's my reflection. Here's a shot looking back. Very lovely, uh, high quality fiberglass construction. Uh, Oliver Legacy Elite Number 2. And there's your fan. And there's your air conditioner by the folks at, if I'm correct, Truma. The Truma Aventa. How's it going? So let's get out of this unit, like I said earlier. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And ring the bell for future notifications. And if you have a chance, check out my photographs, uh, my specific photographs for RV and travel adventures. You know, my travel photographs at rvtamyportfolio.com. That's rvta.myportfolio.com. I'm on the outside. Uh, the sales folks are interrogating future legacy owners and hey, we can give you a dollar off. Is that good enough? Nah, that's not good enough. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Gracias. I'm at the uh, Dallas RV Super Sale, a fantastically busy and fantastically uh, inventoried RV uh, sale. Again, the Dallas RV Super Sale. I had a great time. From uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Nah, I'm not in Fort Worth. I was in Dallas, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.